So I think we kind of have a bit of an obsession with customizing Starbucks cups on my channel. Just, you know, a little bit. Okay, maybe a little bit more and you can see back there. But I mean, it's not like that bad. It's pretty much just turned into a series by now. But hey, I don't have a problem with that. So this one, I figured, you know what, let's twist it up a little bit. We always use Posca pens or like paint, so let's try markers. So uh, with that being said, I think we have some cups to decorate, do we not? Ah! All right, let's bring in the first cup. Come here, little buddy, don't be shy. Oh, that's right, that's right. All right, we have a medium and a large. I don't ever say Starbucks size terminology because I don't actually go there very much. <laughs> Who's ready to customize some cups up in here? Who, who? Raise your hands, raise your hands. Where you at? You guys, boom. I think we should do the big cup first. And because everybody is very excited about fall and all things fall, because how could you not be? Hmm? We're gonna do something like that. So as I said, there's gonna be a bit of a twist with this video. We're gonna use Copic markers instead of Posca pens or paint. And along with that twist, we have a lot of fine liners. So these babies that will be what we outline our stuff with on the cups. Won't that be sweet? <gasps> Yo, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. What is this? Why am I missing one? That's gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna need to know where it is. A lot of you guys also ask me where I get my art supplies, so I do leave affiliate links below to help you guys, and it helps me, so win-win. Let's see here. Cute. All right, just had to add a few other colors. All right, we have our first pumpkin. Let's do a creamier kind of pumpkin right down here. Ooh, this will be cute. Yeah. You guys want to know something really funny? Well, first of all, I'm drinking water out of a Starbucks cup, just regular tap water. Real good, real good. I love my H2O. But the funny thing is, is I'm, I'm just drinking my homemade coffee out of a homemade mug that somebody in my family made for us, so. It, it's not Starbucks brand either, so. And I also got these for free from my friend who works at Starbucks. Oh, you know what I should do? Kinda wanna do like a little gourd. Oh, <gasps> yes, honey, look at that. Mm-hmm. All right, we have a giant pumpkin up here. I lost my cap. Uh, <laughs> what do you do? Hey, I found it. So I think we need to do some sort of greenish stem. Beautiful. And what to add next? I think we need like two more pumpkins. <gasps> oh, this smears the ink on the cup. That little stem is so cute. It's actually not very little though. <laughs> okay, I kind of want like a traditional dark orange pumpkin right there. Okay, the pumpkins are on here, which is quite exciting, but we're gonna take this up a notch and like really fallify it, you know what I'm saying? Little oh, baby, you're getting a makeover. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, I think, is oak leaves. <laughs> That's such a big leaf in comparison to the, uh, the pumpkins.
This is a giant leaf. These little maple leaves are so stinking cute. I'll do one more like in here. I have to stay away from the ink. It'll smear. <laughs> What to do for the background? I think purple, purple, right? You ever see those purple people TikToks? Mm. Trying to figure out, do I wanna just do like a solid color? And then like some sort of uh, thing? All right, behold, paper, markers. Watching. Mm. Okay, so this, looking good, looking good. Ooh, what about this one? Ooh. Swatch card, success, let's do this. All right, let's take these little fine liners. Ooh, there's just so many options, you know? These are seriously my favorite fine liners. They're so sturdy and they're so thin and there's so many colors. Wow, that just made things really pop. We need like a green color. I feel like I've been working on this thing for a good century. <laughs> All these little line art pieces actually took forever because, you know, holding this thing, awkward. Anyway, I kind of feel like we need to do some more stuff. So, got this beautiful marker. I'm just gonna do polka dots everywhere. Ah, uh, look at that, my heart. You know, an opportunity in life that I would not pass up is if like Starbucks asked me to design their cups for some Christmas or fall or whatever season. I'd be all up on that. It'd be so fun. This would be the most stereotypical cup for a pumpkin spice latte right here, don't you think? But seriously, look at this cutie. All right, so we have another cup to customize. I have an idea. I have an idea. We're making a mess today. Guess what time it is. It is swatch time. So we want another fall cup. Our trusty palette. You know what? It's kind of weird that I like to customize these when I have a reputation of spilling them in other videos. Just gonna leave that one right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I feel like I'm holding a huge secret from you for what's coming on this cup because it looks like it's just gonna be some gradient, but ooh, do I have a surprise for you guys. Okay, we've got the ombre on the cup, which is super exciting. It's not super blended out, but it's okay because you won't really notice here soon. Ooh, I just, I cannot wait to show you what is coming. All right, so once again, we have this gold leaf marker. Seriously, this is probably one of my absolute favorite art supplies. I just love adding gold to stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a staple. I think this is my fifth or sixth one that I've been through now within the last, uh, is it embarrassing to say a year? Maybe? Okay, well, that's the truth here. Okay, so... This is what's going down. We're gonna do a bunch of these like leaves slash you could interpret them as trees. <laughs> ah, look at that. Dude, I did not expect these leaves to turn out this gold. This is like a wallpaper. <laughs> I like it. It's so bold compared to the other one. Okay, it's time to show you the final cups. 
Okay, so here is the first cup that we did. This was probably the most challenging one just because of all the details. And then this one here was way easier than the first one, <laughs> but it's my favorite. It really is. I love this one. Anyway, let me know which one was your favorite. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite drink at any sort of like coffee shop or tea place? Just let me know. Also, I hope this inspired you to do something creative or feel festive for things to come later this year. I don't know. I know this is kind of early for fall stuff, but. All right guys, have a good day. Bye.